Hi there, I just want to show you how you set up Tags 5. So I'm at the blog post here and I've got a link to the um, template. I want to make a copy of it. So it's going off. Here we have our copy. And so the first thing we want to do is enable the menu. Um, you'll find this quite often um, it actually takes a couple of seconds for Google to catch up and copy all the scripts across. So hopefully if I click it this time, it comes up with the um, authorization window. Um, essentially, um, the script wants to write to a spreadsheet and also has some script properties uh, and it wants to perform these actions when you're not in the application. So we need to click OK for those. Click on the uh, custom menu once more. And now we need to fill in um, our Twitter API. Um, if you've already got um, a spreadsheet set up uh, with uh, access to the Twitter API, you can reuse the same keys and secret. Um, if you haven't already set up, then you need to go to, let me find it, this URL, and create an application to I'm already logged in and so I'm just going to try and save some of my bad typing and copy and paste some information in. Uh, the important bit is the callback URL. Um, whilst these are uh, indicated as required, the callback URL is also required for this to work and the URL is the one given in here so I'm just going to copy that and then you've got the developer rules of the route um, the important one to remember is uh, point four um, you are allowed to save in a spreadsheet which is how I, I'm using this, I, um, but if you're um, redisplaying information from Twitter, um, please uh, read those uh, terms and conditions carefully about um, display requirements. Let's see if I get that right. So we now have uh, a key in a secret, which I'll be deleting straight after this video. So we need to copy those values in. And save. The next step is to actually authenticate this access. So we need to go into the script editor. And there's a function in here called authenticate Twitter. We click on that and we get the authorize window. So we need to authorize the API connection. You only need to do that once. Um, once it's done, that's it. Um, and then the last thing you need to do is put in your search term. So you can use um, operators like AND and OR. Um, one I'm going to show you now is you can actually put in uh, URLs and it will search for results around URLs. So it's going to run that now. So it's finished running that. And we can see that uh, even though the URLs are wrapped in Twitter's t.co shortening service, um, the search is actually able to find those. So quite often within that search, you're looking for a hashtag, but it can be for things like URLs as well. Last thing to show you is you can um, enable this to uh, collect every hour automatically. So you don't need to have the spreadsheet open. It will just go off and collect uh, the results and add them to the archive sheet. And you've got some other views as well, giving you a summary of the information within uh, the, 